Hello and welcome back to another vlog. This is gonna be my Mar vlog. Mar vlog or Marg? It's gonna be my Marg. I always try to make, you know, you know, but uh, I think or Vlach. Welcome to Vlach. <laughs> Vlarch? Vlarch! Welcome to this Vlarch. Okay. Um, I just left the post office. I love my postal people. I'm angry with them because somebody's new there because they're like forgetting to scan things. And so when I'm looking at people's packages to see if it got checked in or whatever, when I'm dropping stuff off for the biz, it just says it's been accepted. And then the next tag, it's like, it has arrived at the destination facility. I'm like, where was it this whole time? So I was gonna go in there and give him hell, give Thomas hell, which he's still there. Love that he's still there because he's my favorite. Um, and just seeing the old crew up there was nice today because there's been a few new people and I don't know them yet. And I'm just like, who are you? <laughs> but um, he's like, well, why don't you complain to the big boss? I'm like, if you guys would answer your phone, because trust me, I've been trying to complain just to see like what's going on with these packages because it makes me nervous when I don't see them checked in. Because I've had stuff that I've dropped off before and then it never got uh, scanned in. And then they're like, well, we don't have any record of you sending it. I'm like, why would I, why would I complain about something I never saw? So, and I always had that fear that it's gonna repeat. And so I'm always like, did you guys get it? Did you scan it in? But anywho, this is my little uh, vlarch for the next few days because I have, oh, it's so, this was so freaking worth it. This was 40 bucks. That includes shipping. I have a suspicion it's gonna come in a, Easter basket, I can't wait. But then I forgot that I have this beauty from Flying Monkey Tote, so it's gonna be a double unboxing day for me. Um, but you guys probably won't see. Well, I'm gonna do like the unboxing of this Easter, it was an Easter advent. We will see what happens, but for sure I'm gonna at least get this unboxed today before I head into the office. I got a lot of work to do to get this box out for the treasure trove, uh, the packing, finalizing paperwork portion of this treasure trove box so I can get it out and then I can make space for all of the cottage apothecary stuff to then get that out. <laughs> so I'm just, you know, and on top of that, shipping out my, my candle orders and thank you to everyone who has supported the shop and I hope you enjoy your candles. I love seeing them go out to the world and just wondering um, what you guys are gonna do with the cups. Like if you've got candles, what have you done? Have you made your own candles? Do you reuse them for tea time or a cocktail or whatever? Depending on what cup you got, I'm curious to know. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to get into these boxes. It's a good Monday. I managed to get my shit together. I'm not gonna lie. Um, when I get this uh, this busy where I don't have time for myself, it, it tends to wear on me slowly, ever so slowly, you know? to the point where one day you just notice like, oh shit, like I had this purse that's probably had a small little tear to begin with. Oh, you guys can't see. A small little tear to begin with. And then now it's like about to break, you know? And then when it falls off, I'm like, oh my God, how did that happen? What did I catch it on? When really it's been falling apart over time, I just haven't noticed. That's kind of how I feel about me over the last three months. And falling apart over time, I just didn't have time to notice. But this last week I made it a priority to just isolate and rest as much as I could in between the madness. Um, I pulled a muscle in my calves at some point last week, or maybe it was like, not this Sunday, not the prior Sunday, or was it the prior Sunday? I don't know how many Sundays ago, but it was been at least two for sure. And I've been like babying it and taking time off from Pilates, uh, which has not been my favorite. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my beautiful lover. Hello, I know it's been like, not a thousand years, but I have been terrible with vlogging, but I've just been super busy. Like after the walk, I went straight to my office, which is where I'm at right now. It's a disaster, so I don't look at anything. <laughs> so I'm currently in my office, um, sending some orders out. And so I've got to, that's why I got my, my hands, because I'm packaging right now. I gotta make my uh, my little, oh my God. I must have thrown my wax seal in my, my wax last night. 
Um, but I gotta get, I gotta get my shit together so I can send the first one out and then get started on the next, and then uh, head into work and then come back and do some more work for, for the box. So that's why I haven't been as active on here because I've been busy and I still haven't washed my face or taken a shower. But you know that's why I need to get my shit together because right now it's real time, 10:35. So. <laughs> gonna do it hello I know I've been terrible about vlogging it's just because I've been so fucking busy I've been like packing up orders working on my box working and then I pulled a calf muscle and that's been like killing me so I haven't been able to like go to Pilates as much and so I've been working even more because then I had that free time but I run out of boxes that I put like my candles in um, and the stores in my city are all sold out because I've bought them all <laughs> So I was like, let me just go to uh, Carson City, which is like 30 minutes, 40 minutes from me. And so I drive all the way here and I get to the section and I see that they don't have any. And I was like, no, just like a few. And I was like, oh, it's not what I want, but like I'll have to do. And I happen to look up and then I see like <gasps> that sound. And I was like, yes. <laughs> I get one of the workers and like, I need them all. I'll take them all and give me carts full of boxes. I'll insert pictures here. And I get out, and I'm, here's Horace. I get out, and I am getting all the boxes in my car, and someone comes up to me and, and starts speaking to me in Spanish, asking me if I spoke Spanish, and I said, yes. And he said, well, you have a flat tire. I said, shut your mouth. I don't understand Spanish. <laughs> and I looked, and sadly, I do. Luckily, I have roadside assistance and I have a spare, so they'll be here in 40 minutes to help me out. But it is, you know, like a 45, 30 minute drive back home. So going on the highway, I'm going to irritate people going only 55, but like it's the best I can do. And so now tomorrow when I have so much to do, I have to also be getting new tires and I kind of just want to cry. <laughs> but you know what? I'm just going to get super fucking baked tonight and work on what I need to work on, wrapping stuff for the box, um, and then get the rest of these orders out tomorrow, and just be thankful that the box gods rain down their heavenly blessings on me. And this is currently what I have. I have all these boxes here, and there's way more down there. And then I have some in with Horace, which he's like, bitch, you're taking out my space. And then I have the other half in the trunk which I can only have so much in there because I know the guy is going to come and like flip the thing to like get the spare tire and he's going to be like why do you have so many boxes crazy bitch I just sit there for friends gifts for friends hello and happy Saturday it's uh, been a shitty little couple of days uh, in regards to my consistency with this because I kind of fell off. I think the last clip you guys got of me was me waiting for the tow truck. He came. He changed it. It was a nail. And I knew my tires were already on their last few miles, but I wanted to wait until or you know, until this kind of thing happened. I was like, "Oh yeah, cuz they told me when I changed my oil, they're like, you should probably get new tires." I was like, "I'm going to wait until one of them gets flat." And a few weeks later, one of them got flat. I got what I asked for. <laughs> I got new tires. It was not without its stressors, but it is what it is. Um, I can't say that this gray hair came just from that experience, but I feel like it 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 came alive with all that stress. Look at it, it's like shining. It's white as fuck. Just right there looking at me. Anyways. <laughs> um I fucked up and I thought that the advent started last week, but Thankfully, I think I only got to Tuesday, so we're going to just pretend like that didn't happen, and we're going to start again. I may even include my original thoughts, though I don't think I got any on Tuesday, so we're going to just start over, and that's fine. Um, I'm currently getting ready to go into work, and then I got to go into my other work, and then I'm going to get off and do like a little virtual hang ski, which I'm excited. I need a little like ladies night. Um trying to think what else has been going on I'm really behind on everything it's been hectic yesterday alone I had like two or three mini almost mentee bees uh, mental breakdown <laughs> a 
<laughs> Luckily, I survived. Um, oh, I'm smelling my marshmallow body butter and I keep getting whiffs. Oh my god, which reminds me. I have the most delectable combination going on in my living room and in my kitchen area, filming area. Over there, I have Witchy Woman from Sassy Girl Aroma, which is like an incense-y head shop kind of smell. In my like living room, I have Parisian... Parisian... Parisian cake? Parisian milk cake? Something like that from the bathing garden. That's a five. Scent appeal of a five. You guys know I'm not the most generous with my fives. Those have to be really earned. You have to really stand out. You have to just kind of take my breath away. And it did. I remember I was here. I had just popped them in and I was just in this room. And I was like, is that is that my candle that I'm smelling? Is that delicious scent? One of my own creations? <laughs> no, I know it wasn't. It was Parisian milk cake or whatever the fuck it's called. I'll By this point, I'll put it in here. Um, It's so good. I love the way it smells. It's why I haven't left. I should have left an hour ago and I'm still here dwaddling about, even though I don't have time to waste because it just smells so good. And I know when I get back, it won't be as strong. But now that I know that's the combination, luckily I have another little half. But I'm very tempted to go on to the Bathing Garden website. I'm trying to be really good about my spending this year and not getting things I don't need. But I need to smell nice. Me personally, my home. Uh, so... It just smells so good. It just smells so freaking good. And it just smells like yummy, but yet like sweet and perfumey. Like Parisian milk cake. My only note so far is, whoa. <laughs> if I could eat the air, I would. It smells that good. Um, also, I'm wearing like my, haven't yet released it on the website. I just sent a sample to a few people of the marshmallow body butter. And it smells so good. Like you guys know I'm not like a sweet kind of girl in regards to scents. I like clean i like sexy sometimes i like masculine i'm talking about like perfumes and body care something so delicious i wanted like a vanilla like a super rich vanilla like a, a javoy fire at will vanilla but this this is delicious i'm like is this what bianco latte smells like no it doesn't because i smell that but i've smelled it in a sample which it's not the same as the perfume and my friend has it and she's like oh, everyone tells me i smell amazing <laughs> i need to just jump the gun and get it but it's expensive and i'm trying to like again watch what i spend but i'm like sure 150 dollars on a perfume or is it 200 i can't remember for a perfume but it'll make me happy so i think that i need that that self-love okay i don't know if you guys can see Boris back there but he's hanging out the window like he likes to do I didn't know how to dress because the last week has been blessedly springy. I'm talking like a high 60s, loving my life, sunshine, blue skies, the crispness in the air, but yet it's not cold. So I was gonna wear this like little jumper with my new shoes. Well, not my new shoes. I went to the cobbler this week to pick up my shoes that I left the week before. It cost me fucking $71 and all they did was give me new lining in my shoe and a new heel and they scuffed out the stains which was my most pressing issue um and i parked in the handicap sorry i just came to my post office gotta get my packages um anyways i was gonna wear them but then i'm like i don't want to ruin them because i just spent 71 dollars on a shoe that probably didn't cost me more than 40 bucks 10 years ago which now would probably be like 100 dollars. the prices every day are just getting crazier and crazier um, but I'll return to this later. Okay, I'm back on the road. I was going to um, go into my office and do, work on some stuff for the box. Um, I need to figure out what size box to get for the box. There he is being a little jerk like, hello, roll down my window. There you go. There you go. Um, but then I remembered I need, I need more glass. I'm constantly in need of glass. <laughs> Because uh, I have a whole bunch for like, um, well not a whole bunch, but I have an adequate amount for like my manly scents, which there's always a lot of because you guys know I'm a masculine hoe. Well, not a masculine hoe, but I love masculine scents. And for those, I'm a hoe. Um, I just love them so much. They just smell so good. <laughs> I still have a man in my life. So I'm like, I need to get it somehow. Um, but anyways, I need more glass. And I found these like really cute like glass cauldrons. Well, they're not really cauldrons. I'm assuming they're like 
glass mocha this for like salsa, but they're cauldrons, okay? That's what they are. So I'm gonna get more of those. Hopefully the store will have some. If not, we'll just go back to the capital <laughs> to go raid my store for more stuff. Make the little coworkers roll their eyes at me because I get excessive amounts of everything. Especially these days, whenever I get glass, they're like, ugh, here's fucking glass girl. Or here's box girl. <laughs> And I'm always like trying to be like, hey, you don't need to like wrap them. Don't worry. You don't even need to bag them. I'll just take them to my car one by one. Don't stress yourself, please, please. I got really lucky and I fucking scored. I scored the mother load. And I still have one store to empty out, so <laughs> yeah. Um, now I gotta head over to the supply warehouse to get paper and bubble wrap because I'm running low. I know I'm gonna need more, so that's what's going on. Also, I discovered a new podcast. Well, it's not new, it's been out since 2020. Um, somehow I fell down the Tish Cyrus rabbit hole, and um, or I guess Cyrus Purcell, I don't know what her new last name is, but um, Miley Cyrus's mom, and also the Brandy Cyrus rabbit hole, like all the Cyruses, they need their own show. I would watch, anyways. Tish Cyrus is like. She's amazing, um, and I love hearing more about her. She's just the way she talks. Like I don't know if, from what I can tell, I think maybe. Sorry, I'm like rationalizing my brain. Southern accents they speak slower, because Brandy will ask her a question. She will like, "Hua," and that's just like how she's. And I'm just listening and like, and then I tend to like listen to that, and then I start saying "Hua." That's gonna be my new thing. <laughs> uh, by the way, finished House of Flame and Shadow. And I think by the time I put this out, my friend will have read it, so it won't be a spoiler for her if she watches this. But I fucking hated it. It barely got a three. It only got a three because of Rune and Lydia. Lydia carried the book on her whole fucking bag. Like, she didn't have enough. She had to then carry this. Fuck my life! <laughs> I fucking hate it when cars do that. Fucking psychos. Lydia carried the book on her whole goddamn back. If it wasn't for Lydia, I would have DNF'd this book. I, for one, am irritated that I wasted my time rereading CC 1 and 2 when they were already a struggle bus the first time around. I am irritated with myself and most of the Sarah J Mass fandom for getting carried away with their theories as to what this book could be about and just thinking that it was going to be more than a little nugget. So spoiler alert, we got a little bit of a crossover with Throne of Glass and Akatar with uh, Court of Solar Flames and uh, Kingdom of Ash. There was a scene that was in both books and we were like, ah, you know, and it's so cute. And then it happened again in um, CC2 when Bryce ended up in Printhian, aka Akatar. And of course, we all went nuts. But I don't think it was meant to be more than it was with Throne of Glass and Kingdom of Ash. And that's kind of what, I mean, yeah, it was a little bit more in depth, way more than the other two. Oh, I forgot my nose ring again. Son of a bitch. Um, anyways, I didn't even do my hair. I went through the whole bother of, of taking a shower, doing my makeup, only to keep my hair up in its perpetual state of the last week, which is up, bangs pinned back because I just can't be bothered. I don't have time. That's time I don't have, but Anyways, back to the book. So, holy fuck, that's hella loud, but um, let me just end this right here. Okay, well, that was thoroughly humiliating. I was at a stoplight prior to this, and then, of course, the guy could see directly into my car because he was in a truck, and I could see in my side mirror by looking into his truck and at him, he was, we made direct eye contact, <laughs> but he could see me but seemingly recording myself. I don't know what the fuck he thought, but it made me die, which is why I stopped it. I'm like, stay away from me, motherfucker. Uh, he's getting close. Okay, I can see I'm trying to get back into this thing, but luckily he didn't get behind me again because I was mortified. <laughs> like, I don't know why I care. What do I give a fuck about this random dude who has no idea that I'm filming Vlarch? Okay? Doesn't matter what he thinks, but somehow I get all like, ah. So to come back to what I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by that motherfucker. I hated the book. I was so disappointed. I was so irritated with so many things about the book. 
most of all, I was disappointed with a lot of my theories and the fandom's theories and situations that were built up to just fucking go nowhere. To fucking go nowhere. Ethan and Therian were the chaos of the series. <laughs> and I don't care about their shit. I don't care. All I cared about was Lydia and Rune. And every time they were back in Printhian with Nesta and Asriel, I was here for it. Also disappointed that Rhysand and Feyre weren't really in it. Like, the fuck? We just get mentions of them? Like, where was Nyx? Why didn't we get any access to Nyx? I wanted to see Nyx. But anyways, um, highly disappointed in that. And I'm just gonna wrap it up here because homeboy's catching up to me. <laughs> okay, I just left my office. I was able to get a few candles done so that by the time I return, they'll all have set and then I can dress them um, and label them and figure out the scent descriptions and all that jazz and what stones I want to put on them. But one of them is like one of my like permanent options because there's like a few scents that are permanent. Some I'm just like experimenting with and are seasonal. Uh, but like the standards will be my sexy man, my smoky man, glittering love brew. Um, I think that's it for now. And I want to bring back Laundry Day Delight and Enchantment in Eden but I have to order certain oils for that. And one of them has like shipping restrictions, which is really annoying. There's just so many things that like, you wouldn't think are an issue, but they are. <sighs> so many things to do, so little time, but it's a good day because nothing has gone awry. Okay, I'm currently in the office. I'm about to start pouring a candle. I'm trying to block anything you might possibly see that might be a spoiler. <laughs> I'm blocking it with my body, but um, yeah, I just made a blend called fruit tea. So it's like a fruit tea. I think it smells pretty good, even though I don't like fruits. Yeah, it's like mostly I just smell the mango. It's so fucking good. Ah, oh, fucking mango. I have a mango in my fridge right now that I want to make sticky rice with, but I've never done that. But it's one of my favorite desserts from Thai restaurants. And I watched the Nara Smith TikTok when she was making it. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> Good morning and happy Monday. We're gonna be doing a do-over for this advent calendar. So today, starting off again with spring fever. What I will say, I did like the scent. The volcano wasn't super strong from what I remember. However, it's not very strong. Like the throw is like a two and a half, maybe a three. Um, so I'm gonna do two little babies in there. And that's gonna go in my bathroom. In this room and in my other living room area, I'm going to do shamrock mint. I've been neglecting my, my wax because I've been focusing on burning candles to see how things smell testing out. And so I've been pretty bad, little waxy, but you know what? I'm going to fix that right up. And I just put a little piece in every single one. And I have been using these plates thing, these plate thing, these cup things, just because it's easier than running around with freaking cotton balls or dumping them hot. But that's that's what we got going on. I didn't record anything yesterday because I was just crazy busy working. Um, and then today I got to take Horus to the vet, so that's gonna be a little bit of a nightmare. But I've already been drugging him because I got to give him his what is this? Trazodone the night before, which I did, so he's a little bit slower today. And I gotta give him this other half in a few hours before I take him. It's just to do his blood work to make sure his T4 is good, but his medication has has some side effects. Like he is constantly having a rash in his crotch and his ears. And when I called him to tell them about that, because that's what it says on there, like this is discontinued use if you notice, yada, yada, yada. And I did, and they're like, well, at your appointment, the doctor's not going to be here. Can you come in either? No, I can't. Like, my schedule is so fucking fucked. Like, I don't even have time to just fucking sit down and just breathe in for a second. Like, I don't have time for this. I got to be in the shower. But uh, hopefully I get some answers. But I'll see you guys probably after Pilates. Okay, Pilates was good. It was really hard because I'm pretty weak right now from having taken so much time off from Pilates because of my freaking calf which is doing so much better. But right now I'm currently dropping off packages. Okay, it's been some time. I just got back from the vet with Horace and also I had to go source more glass for my candles. 
guys. Got some cute shit. There's still a couple other places I need to hit up, but <laughs> I just go through so much glass. Um, and it's hard to find the specific kind of glass that I like. Because I like the glass with the embossing in it so that it, it creates those refractions that I love. Um, but the vet, it went, I mean, I don't have any answers yet. I had to schedule an appointment to see the vet on Friday because apparently he wasn't available today, which is really fucking annoying because Horace hates being on Trastone to go in there. And even with that, he was still super anxiety out. He pissed himself in the waiting room. Which I was just like, oh, poor baby. But he was just, and he even like cried. Like he made this like little noise and they took him. He was like, oh. I don't know if it was better or not, but currently I'm driving to uh, Uline, which is where I get like my shipping boxes. So I need I need more boxes, and I I was like trying to guesstimate what kind of box I would need for this treasure trove box. Um, and I think I guesstimated right, but I also got like six other sizes the trove orders because um, they're always like different sizes and. I've been reusing a lot of my boxes that I get for orders and that's worked well but I need to get more because the ones that I have are too small and I have to put them in these other boxes to like give them extra protection um, which means I need a bigger box and then of course more packing paper so thankfully they now have an option where you can pick up your order and that's what I'm doing because I don't want to fucking pay $80 for shipping when it's in the same city as me like no thank you that's ridiculous um, it looks so pretty. It's like a, I don't know if you guys can tell. Can you see how pretty the mountains look over here? Here. I'm entering the valley area, which is where it's, every town is like something valley, you know? Um, so. It barely fit in my car. I mean, I have bubble wrap and shit on this side, but this is why I had to drop off Horace because he would have definitely been in the way. But <sighs> at least I have my boxes now to get back to my office. Oh, it's so pretty. Hello, good morning, happy Tuesday. So my thoughts on Spring Fever, which is Volcano, Avocado, Sea Salt, Close on the Line, and Volcano is Capri, Blue Type, Exotic, Sugared Citrus. Oh, exotic. So the first time I did it, I couldn't really smell it. The second time I added two cubes and it was very strong. It's still in there. I would say at its peak, it was like a four and a half and it's currently riding at a three. Um, do I like it? It's an appeal of a two. It's a little fruitier than I would like, but not bad. Today I'm gonna be doing, in mint condition, what's left of it. Uh, it's salty sea spray, hot sand, herbal lavender, and icy mint. So I'm gonna cut this in half, throw it in my bathroom, and then, and then give you my thoughts later. All right, so I just left Pilates. It was good. I'm pretty tired. This eclipse, they can be very tired, um, but, Swing by um, my favorite thrift store in town because on Tuesdays they do 25% off housewares, so that's when I can get some good deals on glass if they have any glass left to get because I buy them up. <laughs> but I got, I think I got lucky last time. There was a few odd glasses that I was like, mm, I don't know, and then I ended up using them for something that I love. So, anywho, um, that's currently the plan. But I do also need to get Horace. I could take him to my dad's house. I can have lunch. And then I need to work on a few things. And then I need to get my asset to work. Um, so that's currently the plan. I'll report back if I find anything good. Okay, I got lucky. They had a lot of good shit. Especially the kind of glasses that I like and use. Um, and I also got some really cute boxes. Like, look at the shape box. It's only one. I figured I can use that to send a gift around Solin time, but um, there's been some teacups there that I'm like looking at, but like they want $7 for it. And I'm just like for one set. And then I found one that like teacup itself was $2 and the saucer was three. And I was like, this is not even fine bone China. It's just porcelain. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? But he gave it to me for $2. So I was like, thank you. I should have got the rest of them. <laughs> So now I'm on my way to their other location because again, I gotta get all this stuff on Tuesday so I can save some money because 
these prices are getting out of hand. <laughs> I fucking scored at this store. I got a bunch of good glass. Normally I'll get like punch bowls that have a bunch of cups in them. Usually it'll miss a whole bunch, but sometimes it'll have the exact amount it's supposed to. This one looked like a complete set. And normally they're anywhere from like 10 to $20. This one was five bucks. Yeah. Amazing. And on top of that, it was 25% off. So that to me is a fucking score. So I'm really excited about that. And my favorite part, the popcorn. The other location doesn't have the popcorn. But we have the homie that hooks me up. This one has the popcorn. Well, in case his bosses see this, he's not hooking me, he's hooking me up. Like, I'm getting charged a lot. <laughs> now, I just need to wash everything. So I gotta put out more mats on my counter so I can wash everything, lay them to dry, take them to the office. Hello, good morning, happy Wednesday. Um, so update on day two from yesterday, it was super light. Like, honestly, I couldn't smell anything. It was probably like at two at its peak. And then after that, it was just non-existent in the air. So that's a bummer, but oh well. And that's in the bathroom. So if it doesn't throw there, it's not going to throw anywhere. But that's just in my house with my airflow and la 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 la. Today, day three. Oh yeah, this one. I think this is the one that was the most palatable to me out of all like the fruity scents that I got in my clean and fresh sampler. <laughs> Busy like bunnies, which is morning sex, fresh spring water, mandarin and sweet mango. And I'm gonna put that in this room. That's good. Also just smell the fresh spring water and the morning sex, which is good. It is morning, all right. So plopping in the cubes. I will report back. I'm gonna head into work um, and then head over to the Trove and work on the box so I can get that out hopefully by Friday. <laughs> Hello, it's been uh, quite a few hours since my last uh, communication on here. <laughs> but uh, went to work, then went to go drop off my like stepmom, then went to go pick up my dad because now I'm on full-time daddy duty um and now i'm in the trove working on my box so i can get that hopefully out on friday um i am now running to the store so i can get supplies to make this like viral korean carrot salad on tiktok i made a little mini version last night and it was pretty good I, it was better than i expected because so i'm gonna tell you the ingredients okay Carrots, garlic, a fuckload of it, white vinegar, cayenne pepper, and some oil and salt. Um, I've seen a, a variation of that recipe with brown sugar, so I'm gonna add brown sugar, because I figured why not, but. So I'm headed there to get the carrots and get some white vinegar, because I'm running low. Um, I don't know if anyone knows the difference between elephant garlic and regular garlic. Cause I got elephant garlic by accident. <sighs> but I'm pretty freaking tired. And all I wanna do is get cozy because it's gonna snow. We're gonna probably get a couple inches. It's already snowing in the mountains. I figured it was coming cause all the trees are blooming. And I was like, well, we know what's gonna happen there. And of course I forgot my lipstick that I was wearing earlier at home and it is what it is but I need some color in my face I feel like I look pale this is down to like the nub this is the essence kiss the frog you know the mood changing lipsticks I have so many of those I have too many lip products and most days I just wear lip balm but there's a car coming so I need to get off here okay I got excited because this grocery store like incentivizes people to be rewards members which I have been since jump because I've always loved this store. They had my favorite ice cream brand, which is normally like $7 a pint. Activated member deal for $2.97, which still is ridiculous, ludicrous actually. But these are the times, right? $2.97, I will take it. 
And now I gotta head over to the vet to pick up his medicine. And what do you know? Another test later can only confirm what I've already fucking known, which is that the medication was still too fucking high. And I told him that. And nothing gets me more than them arguing with me when it's like, I know this motherfucker like the back of my hand. I know every little thing about him. Sure, I didn't really know that he had gained so much weight, but I knew he was getting chunky. But I was like, let him live his life. He doesn't have to always be svelte and sexy and buff. But <laughs> he now weighs 69 pounds from 81 to 69. I can't believe it, but... So I was gonna go straight back to the Trove to continue on my project, but I need to get his meds. I didn't give him any today, because instinctively I knew not to give it to him, give him a break. Um, which I'm not supposed to do that, but I had asked him on Friday, I was like, can I just lower his dose because he's not happy on it and I can tell he's like cracked out. I have an appointment on Friday for them to check the rash, which I know is related to the thyroid medication, but they're going to be like, it might be skin dis- no, no. I refuse to pay them any more fucking money and if they continue to piss me off, I will just ask him for his records and go on to the next bet because I'm not, I'm not dealing with this nonsense, so... I'm on my way to swing by to pick it up because I believe they close at 5 or 5.30. It's 4.30 now. Of course, rush hour, so I'm just hoping I can get it. That way I can start him on it tomorrow. And the last time they tried to charge me twice for his medication because they're like, yeah, we're going to keep him at a 0.6. Um, prior to his results coming back, they gave me a full month. Then they're like, oh, it's too high, we need to lower it. And then I gave them back the medicine, as requested, and they're like, okay, it's gonna be this much. Bitch, what did I just pay you for that I just gave back to you? So they're irritating me, I'm a little feisty. <laughs> but, you know, my time is approaching. Not anytime soon, but enough to where I, I feel easily more irritated. But I know the eclipse didn't help. Um, but anywho, so that's where I'm headed now, so I can do that. Uh, I got a bunch of good snacks for later. I got some green beans and some romaine because there's another salad I want to make. I got tofu. Oh, I got my freaking poppy because I kid you not, in my boot pocket, I've had the pills I need to take, my daily pills of uh, adaptogenic herbs and sea moss and collagen, all of that stuff. Still in my boot pockets because I have not, I have not had time. It's four o'clock, but better late than never. They did not have my dog pop, which is my favorite poppy flavor. So I got raspberry rose and strawberry lemon, which are like my other two backups, but I'm a dog pop hoe and I need more. I'm drinking one dog pop a day. <laughs> Normally I've been Miss Water. I only drink water or matcha or coffee, but typically only water or tea, not like in a container, but like just for like fresh herbal tea. Um, and that's pretty much it. And now I'm like, I need a poppy. So I need to take these pills. I need to take these pills. Um, let's see which can comes out for me. Raspberry Rose. Raspberry Rose. And I'm about to get onto the freeway. So let me just end this here. So I can take my pills in peace. And get Horace his pills. And then get back to this project. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I just need to be focused. Which is really hard. When you have ADHD. It's like. And I'm unmedicated. I'm just raw dogging life. <laughs> okay, I just left my vet's office. And let me tell you, it was not without its drama. Okay? When Horace first started this medication, he was at a 0.8. After one month, they were like, his levels are way too high. I'm like, okay. So they drop it to a 0.6, which I still feel like wasn't low enough. Like it should have been at least a 0.5. Because I feel like a 0.5 is where he needs to be. And I went to go pick up his medication. I was asking about the rash. Like, do you think like what they dropped it to? She's like, well, it, they put it at a 0.7. I'm like, why would it go up if it's too high? Like, that makes no sense. She's like, oh, let me get someone to explain it to you. Cause like, I, it confuses me, but I knew, I just knew they were both wrong. Okay. The girl comes out and she's like explaining to me how it works, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I understand when someone's levels are too low and then the medication is gonna help it get to get higher. And then if it's too high, they need to drop it, which is why I don't understand if his blood work came back that his levels are still too high, why you would increase it from the dose that he was already on that made it be too high. And she's like, what? 
So what was he on originally? I was like an eight. I was like, and currently he's on a six. I was like, so why would it go to a seven? And then she was like, let me double check. And then she checked. And I guess my doctor had only looked at the original paperwork from the first month where he was at a point eight. He didn't look at the paperwork where he himself had dropped Horace to a point six. So thankfully I spoke up. So always speak up for your pets. Always be, don't ever be afraid to ask a stupid question because people more often than not make mistakes. Anywho, so now I'm rushing to get to my dad's house to take him to work. Whew, the stress, but I'm happy they lowered it to 0.5. Luckily the doctor happened to be there. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry about that. And they gave me the right medication. Hopefully that will work. I still have to bring him in on Friday to get his crotch looked at because <laughs> I got a major rash, but it could be from all the new hairs. Good morning and happy Thursday. Yesterday was a long day. I didn't get home until like 9.30. <laughs> but I finished my project. I'm so excited. So I can start packing everything up, working on the paperwork today, maybe even packing today and dropping them off early tomorrow. That is the fucking goal. Tomorrow drop off. I can't fucking wait. I can't wait. Um, so day four. Raindrops on violets. Violets, light musk, soft woods, fresh rain. Yesterday's I'm not gonna lie, um, even though I was gone most of the day, I did return at several points and I couldn't really smell it in the air. So I would say it was like a light three. Um, and the appeal was like a two and a half, nothing special about it. Um, but this one has potential and I'm gonna put this one in the bathroom. See how it does in there. We'll get a little bit more. And I will report back later. Just left the thrift store because at this location, they're doing 50% off on Thursdays of clothing. And same thing with Monday, but I try to come on Tuesdays because that's when they do 25% off on housewares and decor. So I can get the good glass price. And, um, you know, so I try not to, not to look at the clothing because there's always going to be something I want. And that's typically just like clothing that I want to wear like around the house or um, when I'm working on like making candles or stuff for the boxes i need something that i don't feel bad ruining and not like my work clothes i'm always like changing into pilates wear and then back to like my work clothes and then back to like walking wear so i can walk horse and then clothes that i can destroy while i'm working in the trove so i got a bunch of clothes i got some cute boots and then i got some weird little things for decoration one of them i was like this is weird and creepy but like I think I know the person who I can give it to. Um, so if you happen to see this and you think it might be about you, just pretend. Just pretend like you don't. And then when it comes to be your birthday, you can be like, oh, what a surprise. Um, but I also got some really cute owls. So um, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys what I got. I'll do a little thrift haul for this. Uh, hopefully it won't be a super long vlog, but it is like a couple of weeks, right? Um, and the, the wax melt. It's beautiful it's beautiful in the bathroom perfect scent i think it'd be really nice in the bedroom and also my living room in the evenings um right now i am headed to drop horace off to get lunch with my dad horace do you want to say hi i don't know if you can see him right there hey baby you want to sniff you want to get some air yeah this lady saw him in my car she's like you have a really beautiful dog and i was like yeah he's so cute um but i'll see you guys in the next clip Okay, my thrift haul, I got this matching set bag. I saw it, I immediately thought of somebody, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get that for her. So I got this, even though I really like it, but I don't really use these types of bags, but it's still really cute. I got these fucking stellar, delicious boots. And the condition's pretty good. I don't know what size they are, but if I had to guess, they're either an 8 because they fit me a little bit big, but I was like, I'm not gonna pass these up because they were pretty cheap. They were $4 and today was 50% off. So I got them for $2, $2 boots. And they're gonna look so hot on me. Okay. I also got this really cute owl candle. As you can see, someone already burnt the wick, but they didn't, they didn't burn the little owl head. So I couldn't resist that because you guys know obsessed with owls and then of course I saw this guy and I was like yep you're coming home with me 
And I know you guys probably see that. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. But this is how he looks. This is the creepy little brick doll. It's legit a brick. It's heavy AF. Um, but like I said, I saw this and I immediately thought of someone. I was like, I'm going to get that for her. So I think it would just look really cute in her house with her like little witchy vibe. But how fucking stinking cute is that? <laughs> All right. Now on to the clothes. So a lot of the stuff. Body shirt. I couldn't resist this. I actually might wear this tonight. I used to have a sweater like this. It was just a, like a pullover sweater, but the back was like crisscrossed. It was so cute. I loved it, but like I got rid of it and I should have never done that. But now I have a sparkly blue hoodie. So I love that. This was also just $2. I'm going to give you the sale price because I'm not going to tell you the price that the tag says because it doesn't matter because it's not what I paid for it. So this one I paid $1 for. It's a really nice, good condition Calvin Klein, again, for Pilates. This is for Troven, where I want to stay warm and cozy. So I got the sweater, $2. Pullover sweater for Looney Tunes. It's too bad they didn't have, um, what was that little crackhead that I loved? Yosemite Sam or Speedy Gonzalez, but whatever. But it has a nice drawstring feature, so you can cinch it in i couldn't resist it it's not coming up on camera but it's more of an isis blue than it's coming up more blue but it's a little bit more green in person the sweaters were two dollars same with this one another really nice delicious blue love these kinds of sweaters when i wear dresses and again another delicious blue another two dollars i'm worried about the neck but i figure if anything i can tailor it but it's ink and it's a um, black see-through but there is a black tank top that goes with it so two dollars this really nice uh tangerine papaya colored skirt from forever 21 two dollars it's a wraparound skirt hopefully that'll fit sometimes mediums and with these hips doesn't work with forever 21 this i was worried about because these are i would say they're brand new it doesn't look like they were ever worn it's a size two which i used to be back when i was in my 20s but my 30s, um, not so much, but it is Good American, which I know is like the Khloe Kardashian co-founder brand. Um, so I figured it's made for bigger hipped girls and again for Pilates. And it's a really nice like iridescent like leathery kind of snake skin. Hopefully you can see the texture. See, see what I mean? I'm sorry about my nails. I know they're atrocious. So the shorts were $2. These jeans um, were $2.50. They are um, American Eagle. Super stretch. It's so hard to find good jeans these days because they make everything such poor quality. But then I also got another pair of American Eagles in black. But these are more distressed, which I love. But that is my little thrift haul. Hello, it is about 7, 10 p.m. It's still on this Thursday. Currently in the Trove. Um, getting ready to pack stuff up in a second. I have some things that's all wrapped. I don't want you guys to see anything in the background. I'm working on the paperwork, so hopefully I can bang that out tonight and then sleep on it, and then tomorrow go over it before I print it. And then get the boxes set up so I can drop them up tomorrow. I'm so excited. Good morning and happy Friday. Today we have day five. Uh, thoughts on the one from yesterday. Really love it. It's still going in my bathroom and that shit's running 24 hours. Um, so I'm pretty impressed with its throw. It's light. It's not light. So it went to a three and it stayed at a three. So today, day five, we have mm, fresh cut grass, sweet lavender, guava, lychee, lychee, however you want to say, orchid, and jasmine. And this is the one that wasn't too crazy about. It's just like fruity galore. Yeah, that's gonna go. I guess I can have that go here. Usually the ones that I'm like, mm, I throw them in the bathroom. Or just ones that smell really clean go in the bathroom. I think I'll put this one in here. I'm just gonna do a, a, a butterfly in each cup. Because why not? And you know what? Just to finish this up, so I'm not going to just leave it for one. And then I'll also do that in the bathroom. So, I will report back. Uh, right now, I just gave Horace his drugs because I got to take him to the vet again. 
um, to get checked out for his rash. And then I have to, right now I'm gonna read over my paperwork, make sure that I said everything I need to say. There are no like glaringly obvious fuck ups. And then go print that off, go wrap up the last item and then drop these motherfucking glasses out. Just left the vet and that experience fucking drained me. Now mind you, he's on a tranquilizer, he's on trazodone. A big dose of it. And he still had the power of 10,000 beachless to yank me around and just act the fuck up. And I don't know if they do this on purpose, but they have these little like corner seats where it's like a triangle and um, shoved into the corner. Barely enough to fit my ass on there. And Horace will like jump onto my lap and like sit on me like that, but his feet are still, his back legs are still grounded. He hasn't done this since he was under two years old, but today, today Mr. Horace decided to fully jump on my lap as I'm sitting in that little corner and like his, his <laughs> I had to be like this while he's on me. And of course the vet tech and the vet were like, oh my God, he's, oh, he's so anxious, poor Horace. Are you okay? Can you see okay? I'm like, it doesn't matter if I can see, just take his vitals, do what you need to do. I'm talking about you and your nonsense. Um, but yeah, he um, definitely had a rash, just like I suspected and his ears were definitely red, just like I told them. And they looked at them like, oh yeah, he's like aggravating it and continuing to spread whatever bacteria. They think it was like some contact dermatitis situation. So he's on antibiotics and they gave him a shot of some other kind of antibiotics. So hopefully that'll work. They did, they did threaten him with a cone. And I was like, oh no, he won't like that at all. Um, but I was like, I'm not going to further traumatize this guy because he's already been through enough this week. And he actually did really well when they like stabbed him with the injection, which I've never been present for. And But they were like, he's doing too much today. We're just gonna give it to him with you in the room because that way he'll have you there for comfort. And I was like, my baby. <laughs> but they're all super nice, um, especially the vet tech. Um, Cause she's been seeing him all week. <sighs> so now, now that after that experience thoroughly drained me, I'm going to fuel up my car and get to cracking on getting the treasure trove box out so I can drop them off and I'm gonna have my dad watch them because they're not gonna all fit in my car but whew, what an experience I'm on my way to my house I need to change my shoes because packing shit up in these heels not working for me and they're not even like heel heels they're booties with the heel and also I gotta see if I left my tissue paper there because I have packing paper, which is what I use when I ship out orders from the Trove for candles and stuff. But it's not like cute. And I bought cute tissue paper because I need that extra, that extra little bit because I'm really worried about, well, several items in the box and they've been like bubble wrapped and all that shit. But one of them is really fragile and I'm worried that if it gets banged, if there's too much room for it to move, it'll get banged. So I'd rather spend the time, spend the money in getting the tissue paper than having the nightmare of them arriving damaged. Good morning, happy Saturday. It's an absolutely fucking miserable day. Snow, cold, right now it's currently raining, but we have day six. You had me at hello. I'm gonna cut the leaf in half, put it in my bathroom, because that smells really fruity but the other one that smelled really fruity it was actually pretty nice on um on warm i think that's the one that we did yesterday when i'm editing i'll confirm here but i liked it surprisingly enough i was like oh okay so we'll see how this one does um oh, let me see i have to be at work soon i'm fucking cold i need to go get some soup um because every so often when you spend like a couple hundred dollars with Uline, they will give you a free gift of your choosing. And I chose a thermos and I was thinking, well, it's a soup thermos. I was like, I don't have one. I really should because I love soup, especially in winter. But I was like, it's spring. 
But you know, I'm thinking ahead for next winter. Next winter's today. Today, that fucking thermos will get used. Good morning and happy Sunday. Happy last day of this fresh and clean, but oddly extremely fruity advent calendar. And I need to do this today because I have to film my empties in an, about an hour. I'm gonna have my coffee first. So lastly, we have Don't Worry, Be Hoppy. Citrus, cilantro, lime, basil, speechless, raindrop, satsuma, and coastal kale. I'm concerned about this one because satsuma can be a bit much for me. So, got this cute little bun. Knee. Bun knee. I don't know why I can say the whole word. And we're just going to go for it. Cut him in half. I feel like with the satsuma, that might be too much. So I'm going to do half of his ears. One ear in one cup. Pick up the little crummies. And then, um, you guys will probably see me a little bit later. I'm going to clean my house today. It needs to freaking happen. Hi. Hello. So I realized, because I was already starting to edit this vlog, that I didn't have a final one of today. Um, I'm wearing my little owl pendant, which... I'm like, should I get the bounty for this month? Because it's supposed to be like owl themed. But I'm like, pretty happy with this one. I don't need another one. But then at the same time, like I love owl themes. So, and then I'm also wearing this one freshly activated with the new intention. And already that intention has come to me, baby. And I love it. Um, I wanted to show you guys this coat because I got it at the thrift store like a while ago. And it was $9. Well, $18, but half off that day. So I got it for nine. It's really nice. It's like some Japanese brand. And I think this is like meant so that you can like fold it up if you want to, but I'm fine just like that. But I really love it. I didn't do my hair today. I should have, but like it has just like this little, little bit if you want to cinch and the buttons on the back. It's super cute. And then these boots that I got the other day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's gonna be a wrap for this flarch. <sighs> I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna get the bounty. I keep saying no, but then my mind keeps saying yes. So I think I'm just gonna try and go for it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys had an awesome March. March was wild, but it was good.